photography to so many people is a creative way of manipulating the lights for visual enhancements of living or non-living objects. But when it's celebrity photography, there's an extra element that brings into the conversation a lot of color, razzmatazz, and social relevance. However, is that all that there is to celebrity photography? What about the employment value and even the satisfaction that comes with the mastery of the camera? Well, we will be talking about all of this right now with Yesunde Ayani Babayako, one of Nigeria's top contemporary celebrity photographers here with us on the program. Welcome to the program. Good morning. It's Good great morning. to see you again. Good morning. Thank you. Good nice to see you. Again. Welcome. Well, the last time you were here, we were talking about Nalingo yes. and promoting indigenous uh, languages. Mm -hmm. Now today it's uh, photography. But before we talk about indigenous language, uh, education, or celebrity photography, I mean, two major things in Lagos this morning. First, Lagos recorded its first rainfall of the year. Yes, yes, and then true. second, yeah. we woke up to uh, hear yeah. about the first confirmed case of yes. coronavirus in Lagos. Yes. Now, when you heard that coronavirus has already made a landing mm. in uh, Nigeria via Italy, yes. how did you feel? What has been your reaction to this? I, I mean, I'm a mother of, of three children who school here. And we live in Ikeja, which is also very closely where the airport, international airport is. So me as a mother, I'm very, very worried. The good thing is, okay, fine, children seem to be like a bit more resistant to it. But also at the same time, I don't want my children to be carriers of, the, mm. of this disease. And I know, I mean, it, it's, it's really scary. It's really scary. On the other hand, I'm also happy that we are in Nigeria. We faced Ebola. It's very fair for overcome Ebola. Um, uh, successfully, then I also have a bit of faith on my people that will handle this coronavirus very well. Definitely, I'm teaching my children what to do, how to conduct themselves, um, how to behave. Um, one of my sons is, was supposed to travel. We actually now decided oh, yeah. to, yeah, but yeah. really, safety first. Absolutely, yes. But as a concerned mother, do you think that the uh, government, states and uh, federal, mm. uh, do you think that they are doing enough uh, mm. to see how to uh, contain any likely spread in Nigeria? I think they're doing very well because I hear that this this case, the man from Italy, has been already contained and is on, under supervision. I think we have done better than some other countries. Certainly. Even in the Middle East, yes. Well, I, we've I, done I, better than Italy. Yes, I mean, they can't even find exactly. that contact zero, you know? Exactly. Definitely. If you look at Italy and Iran right now. Yeah, We've Iran, where one of the vice presidents and two mm. lawmakers yes. have come down right. with, the, with the virus. Exactly. Yes. So Looks like it's no respecter of uh, persons. Exactly. Even vice presidents could be affected, yes. as we have seen in uh, Iran. Absolutely. Absolutely. We definitely have, have been uh, more alert, and I'm very proud of our people. Yes. Now, <laughs> the last time you were here, of course, yeah. before we do go on to talk about celebrity photography mm. today, it's employment value, etc. Mm. You told us about Nalingo, a website that people can go on to to learn Yoruba, and you showed us some yeah. really cool videos yes. and told us that you were taking some of the lessons yourself. Yeah. How has that gone? What's your progress been like? It has been amazing, and the feedback has been also really, really great. More and more people have subscribed to the channel. People love the initiative. They, they love what we are doing. It's also like a, a wake-up call now to most, most people, most parents. And, um, yeah, we keep shooting. Really, still every, every month we have a shooting session where we produce, like, six to ten skits and put them out, and we have been consistent with our uploads. Every week we have a new... Uh, and then and, and the quality of the, the videos are improving, the content as well, and we, we are making them more funny, more entertaining, so it's really has been really Brilliant. impressive. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, celebrity photography. You know, I've, I've heard about mm -hmm. this celebrity, mm -hmm. this celebrity that, yeah. you know, we even have a category we call celebrity journalism. Yeah. But how is celebrity photography different from normal photography? Is it on account of, uh, you know, the status of the individuals or something in terms of art? Actually, to be honest, it's actually the people who invite me to come to talk are the ones who call me celebrity photographer. <laughs> I don't call myself a celebrity photographer at all because celebrity photography sounds very glamorous mm. and very panache in red carpet, and that's not the, the truth about photography at all. I mean, uh, to be a successful photographer, let's put it that way, celebrity photographer, let's put it as being a successful photographer, you need to really get into the gritty and grindy. Yeah. You really need to work hard, 
and um, you can't see not anything. And in Nigeria, it would be nice if one could focus into one aspect of photography, but because the way it is the status quo and the economy, you can't just um, put yourself into just one lane. As a celebrity, as a photographer, who photographs celebs? I think I prefer that expression. A photographer <laughs> who photographs celebrities, but also other things, advertising, lifestyle, um, corporate photography. We do that one a lot as well. Um, yeah, one really needs to, needs to work hard. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the photography industry, the art industry as a whole, has really grown over the years, as we've seen. Mm -hmm. And photography in particular has become quite prevalent in Nigeria. You see a lot more photographers today. You see a lot more people going out to study photography. I mean, even the president's daughter we discussed yeah. recently just came back with her degree in mm -hmm. photography. And you can see that it's becoming a very common course and the creative industry is growing. So, of course, it's adding a lot of value in terms of employment as well. Mm -hmm. Can you shed more light on this? Yeah, definitely. It has really improved from when I came back to Nigeria in 2004. The, the mindset that the... Um, reception of photography has really improved. And what I just wish that w would be better now in Nigeria is the educational system. You said the, the president thought has gone abroad. Mm. What can we do here to empower our young people, our youth, and definitely educational platforms? For now, we just have vocational training. Why not let it become academic? So parents can also be when, when their children come and ask them or tell them, I want to be a photographer, they won't just fall from their seats. They will actually be <laughs> encouraging their, their children to, to do so. So uh, that's something I, I would like to um, Nigeria to improve on. Then also um, other technical aspects that we need to put in place in Nigeria to, for photography to be more successful is importing of equipment. That's my daily struggle importation of equipment, because as a photographer who, who photographs the lips, but at the same time I go into factories, I need to do some product photographs. I need so many different kinds of equipment, and I don't want to own it all. Yeah. Abroad, if you want to start photography, you don't need to invest so much you can borrow. So that's a, another thing that um, is not put in place yet here in Nigeria. I would love to just you know, do a, a, a job, even if I know I don't have the equipment, I can just go out, borrow some equipment, and, um, and do it. And so th those are some kind of challenges that we are facing here in Nigeria. So uh, we still have a bit to go. Well, I mean, I like the fact that you say photography can become part of the school curriculum, yeah. particularly for <clears throat> students who want to uh, specialize mm -hmm. in the creative arts. But I once read a book by Susan Sontag, I yeah. took photography as art. Mm. Now, how much of an art is mm. uh, photography? Considering the fact mm. that a lot of people are involved in photography just as fun. You know, anybody can, even with this, uh, yeah. you know, uh, phone, yes. uh, you can take pictures. That's people, art. Yes. Some people have become yes. Uh, yes. experts with yes. their phones mm -hmm. in taking uh, photographs. Exactly. Exactly. So how is it an art, in, in, mm. yeah, you know, from your own experience? Yeah, who decides what is art and what is not, right? Mm. And um, definitely, I mean... Photography is such a versatile medium. It can be really, corporate photography could be like that, but it could also be used, I can use my camera to express myself. It's so expressive. And I like the way also the young people are using their phones to express themselves. I see it with my own children, um, all the apps, all the beauty apps. I mean, we, we smile about it, but why not? It's something that gives them pleasure and that is something I want photography to be. It, 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 should, it should be fun, it should be pleasure. It shouldn't be taken too seriously, right? But then also it is something that, I'm also an, art, an artist. I definitely, if somebody asks me, I'm a photographer slash artist because I've done so many things in, in the art world as well. I've been respected and I've been also recognized as an artist and my, my work has been sold as art. That's brilliant. Yeah. And I mean, you know, now we, we come into the big problem of financing the creative industry. Mm -hmm. And how much of a role does government have to play in this? How much of a role does private sector have to play in this? Mm -hmm. How much is private sector currently yeah. doing? What is the current status of all of that? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I, I won't involve government too much in that. When I was talking about import of equipment, of course, with customs, there's something that the government can help. 
But of course, if, if we can change the mindset of people in the private sector, that, and you will see how important photography is for the development of, of our youth, for the development of also our, our, our industry. Um, there are people who give workshops. There, there used to be, years, years back, there used to be a lot of organizations and corporates organizing workshops to empower uh, young people. Sometimes also I've, I've been part of workshops who encouraged women, female photographers as well. Now we have, and it has had a great effect. It was, it's beautiful how many female photographers we have now and who are thriving and who, has, who have been successful. And things have been done. The last one year, two years, I would say it has slowed down a bit because we know the economy stage of Nigeria right now. But yeah, I, I, I'm still very positive. Well, I mean, we're almost uh, going to mm. a break now. Mm. But after the break, we'll return and then the conversation uh, will continue. I would like to know, for example, yeah. uh, what motivated you to take to photography? Uh, because it's a choice. Mm. And as a photographer, what's your favorite? Is it landscape? Is it nature? Mm. Is it corporate photography, mm. which brings uh, more money? Okay. Just to give us a picture. Okay. Because as you said, a lot of Nigerians now are taking to photography mm. as a very serious uh, vocation. Yes. But we'll take a short commercial break. When we return, the conversation with Yetunde Ayene Babeko will continue. Welcome back to the Morning Show here on the Arise News Channel. Still with us in our Lagos studio is Yetunde Ayene Babeko, who's been talking about photography and the art industry in Nigeria. And before we went on break, I had asked you a question about, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what's your favorite uh, choice, medium? Is it nature? Is it landscape? Is it yeah. celebrity? Yeah. Or the photography of celebrities, <laughs> as you put it? Yeah. Or is it corporate photography? And what motivated you to take a special interest mm. in photography? Okay, I started actually entering into photography quite young. I, I lived in Germany, I schooled in Germany, and there we had courses in school already um, teaching us about photography and just putting a, photo, uh, a camera into our hands. Then, um, of course, I discovered that I really have a passion for it. I went and, and studied photography over there, and then I came to Nigeria. And well, in Nigeria, I opened my studio. We started with family portraits. I love to take family portraits. I really can't put my finger on one subject. I, I really like, especially um, family portraits, individual portraits, um, corporate photography. They all have their own different characters and nuances. But to me, all of them are, are challenges. And, and, and putting my own view into it, I think that's, that's what I do, my own style. If you see one of my images, you can see that I have definitely curved out. And it took a while. I've curved out my own, own style. And whatever I do, if it's corporate, if it's sort of family portrait, or if it's, um, if it's something more commercial, you, once you see my image, you'll know that this is one of my, my works, yes. And that's the, that's the most mm. amazing thing about art and being able to spot out and say, yep, that's from that person, you know? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That and it's great to know that you also do more than just photography. You mm. mentioned that you're into other types of art as well, other yes. types of visual art. And I'd like us to speak about that for a second because the art of storytelling is so important. And I believe that the value of the stories that come out of Nigeria, the value of the stories that come out of Africa, especially yes. the untold stories, are mm -hmm. so precious, yet yes. they're, never gi they're never given the worth that they should be given. There's so much exploitation in our art industry. There's so many cases of Nigerian art and African art being sold for millions abroad, yeah. or even in galleries here in mm -hmm. Lagos. <laughs> Meanwhile, the real artists are yes. getting peanuts yes. for them um, for what they've done. And it's a huge problem. How, mm. how, how well are we doing? in terms of tackling this, in terms of intellectual property rights as well, mm. etc., and actually placing some sort of value, meaningful value, on mm. the art that comes out of Nigeria, because yeah. it's so precious. Yeah, it, it, it is, it is. Me, personally, as a photographer and an artist, I mean, now, in, in the time we're living in, in now, I mean, we can track our works. We know where it's going in time with, <laughs> with social media, internet. I, I, I can track my work. Mm. I know where it is. And... Um, yeah, but, but really, in, in, with photography now, but then also, it's also 
kind of challenge because once I put like my images now on the internet, I'm definitely make sure that I always have my watermark on it. So yeah, yeah so nobody can just yeah. download it and claim it, claim it from the internet. So one has to be really, really uh, still careful about it. And when it comes to intellectual property and, and the arts that has been exploited, of course, it's. I, I, I still think it's it's. It's a thing of the past now. I mean, it has happened, and it has happened um, a lot, but now that we have the means, I think we can, we can track it. Well, I mean, uh, how much of uh, a value will you say technology has added uh, to the art of photography? Because mm. once upon a time in this country, yeah. for you to be a, a photographer, mm. uh, you were a specialist of sorts because yes. you had a studio, you had your own equipment that would not be available to other people. Mm. But with the democratization of uh, technology, yeah. Yeah. Uh, virtually everybody is a photographer. I mean, Leila, yes, for example, I takes am. a picture <laughs> almost on a daily basis. <laughs> you know, you know is that a threat think, to yes, the professionals yes, yes. or it's, it is a, a good thing? Yeah. A photographer is, is an unprotected name. Everybody can call themselves a photographer. Even if you don't make money with it, you are photo yeah, the photographer, you took the picture. And, well, when it comes to technology, I mean, I, I believe that it's all about reinventing yourself because there, there's always been changes. When you look at from the time when the first picture was taken in 1823 from Joseph Nietz, that was his first picture taken, and everybody was screaming, all the, the masters, the, the painters were screaming, oh, my goodness, this is going to be the end of paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yes, yeah. yes. And now we are looking back as if nothing like that happened. Nothing at all happened. The painters are still there and making lots of money, even more than we photographers sometimes. So, it's, so, so what the painters had to do was to reinvent themselves, right? From the classical painter to the impressionist to the expressionist. Now, now we have the technology. So now what do, how, how can we... We shouldn't be afraid of it. We have to embrace it. What can we do with the technology now? What, how can we use it to express ourselves? With the phones, I was just saying earlier, my children use the phones, take pictures, do TikTok. Yes, we do TikTok and yes, put them mm -hmm. on the school yeah. apps and are yes. expressing themselves so creatively. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So technology is, um, is definitely... It's nothing we can run away from, so we need to embrace it, bring it in, invent our, reinvent ourselves with it and make it a tool. I love well, that have idea. you had any yes. exhibitions? Because I know mm. some Nigerian photographers uh, yeah. who do exhibitions on a regular mm. basis. Yes. Have you had calls to exhibit some of your works? Yes, last year we had a, I had an exhibition about um, uh, uh, persons with albinism called White Ebony. Mm. That was last year. I tried to do a, an exhibition at least once, once a year or once every two years. It's quite difficult to pull, to pull it off. So... Mm. Once in two years, I have at least one exhibition, or I, I take part in group exhibitions. Yes, I'm constantly ex, um, exposing my work, yes. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. I love exhibitions. But let's yeah. talk about also scaling up the art sector as a whole. Mm -hmm. What needs to be done? How do we start scaling up the sector? Mm -hmm. Well, it's all about demand, right? So if people want to see more, more, more arts, more work, then definitely there will be more work shown. But how do we get people to want more work? It's, it's a bit of also influencing the mindset of people and educating people about the art and how important it is. I mean, we have um, exhibitions now like Art X. When I went there, I was so proud to see um, the scale, the scale of the organization, the scale of the place, how many people came from abroad internationally. And um, so far, I think... Something that we can help with Adlex is, is non-existent. So we need to do more in, in, in that, that direction. And then also when we have um, exhibitions like this, then we should also have more photography represented as well. And I, I, I don't like to go around and blame people. It's back to us what we photographers can do and have to do. We really need to have to sit up, uh, sit up and we really need to shout from the rooftop that um, our section, our industry needs to be pushed more and needs to be recognized more. Well, I know that there is the uh, Nigerian Society of uh, Artists mm. um, and there are other groups um, within the uh, creative industry. Mm. But do Nigerian photographers, the top ones, I mean, today, do you have an association? Because there's quite a number. Mm. 
from Sumis must go yes. to Aisha uh, yeah. Augi uh, to yes, yes. you know T Y Belo, Kelechi yeah. um, Amadi, mm. and, and all, all the people I'm, in that I'm group. I'm sure there are some is associations who have formed, maybe smaller ones, but um, yeah, again, I think we have like a bit fallen asleep. No, I get I through. get the impression that there is no coordination. <laughs> Exactly. Because when you say we, mm. the photographers, yes. you, do you think we, we all need know to each other. come we together? All, yeah, we all work with each other, but maybe sometimes the hustle and bustle of the daily, <laughs> daily routines, you know, just get carried, you know, get carried away. And yeah, I mean, we have to definitely do more when it comes yeah, to that may be part reuniting. Of the yes. that she's talking about exactly. that you speak with a much stronger voice yes. within the larger creative industry exactly. community. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, let's also have a bit of a personal finance 101 because mm. it's a topic of conversation that often comes up, making money in mm. the creative sectors. Yes. And in terms of photography, what, what, is it, what is it like? What are the main challenges that photographers mm. face when it comes to making good money? Yeah. <laughs> you so, know? So, yes, really. I mean, I train people and, uh, and, and the most confusing thing is how do I charge? It mm. is really... And I, I do understand because... Um, it's an intrinsic value that you put to your images, and it's it's about yeah how how good are you first of all how can, the price that you want to set can you defend it, and it it goes with long training and long evaluation and evaluating yourself and and your process and the product that you're offering to your clients that now can determine how you can set your prices, and then the other challenge is. Even if you are good, if you are really good, and the budget of your client is just, just goes that far, and there's yeah. another photographer just next door who will do it according to the client's budget. So how do you compete? It is tough. It is, it is tough. And I do understand that pricing is a big, big issue in Nigeria. And um, it comes back to being recognized, being respected, people you know, valuing what you are doing. What about steady income mm -hmm. as well, though? Yeah, st steady income as a freelance photographer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that, 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 that doesn't really go. Uh, that doesn't go hand in hand. I would say, um, of course, you can try and get clients who come who, who need your photography service on a monthly basis, right? Um, but then, it's photography is very seasonal. Yeah. Especially for wedding photographers. That's why at the beginning well, I said... There's a wedding mm -hmm. every week in the city of Lagos. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Every day. Yeah, yeah. But then also there's yes, rainy season. Are always yes. They're yeah, they're celebrating yes, something. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we're always celebrating something. Yeah. But then there's rainy season. There's dry season. More, wedding, more we weddings happen princess, during... We yes, yes. <laughs> we more love. weddings are happening during, uh, during summer, during the dry season, then, and less than the traffic. So it's... it's um, yeah. Steady income is, is, is something one should aspire to. It happens maybe for some people, mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely a challenge as a free. I think as every in, somebody who has who runs a business, it's yeah. quite tricky to have a steady income. What? Mm. When you uh, let me refer you to something you said earlier. You said you, when anybody sees your work, you mm. know you'll be able to say, "Oh, this mm. is uh, from Yetunde uh, Babdeko." Mm. Now, I saw just a few, although, you know, it's not enough for me to uh, form an mm. opinion. But I saw a lot in terms of focus on the human form, yeah. you know, body shapes, and also uh, play on light, mm. dark and, yeah. um, and white, you know, and also space, mm -hmm. the generous use of uh, space with the uh, camera. Now, but what will you yourself, you know, define as your real signature, what you look out for when you stand behind that camera, you want to uh, take yeah. a shot. Yeah, what do I look out for mostly? Oh, God, I mean, I'm, I'm a lighting freak. Yes, you can see that. And, and I, lo I love working a lot with models as well, because they understand that you need to be patient. With, with in, yeah, when you go into people's houses and you are p photographing normal families, especially with children, you need to be fast. You can't waste your time. But with, with models, yeah, you can, you, can, you can now elaborate, you can now test, you can do test runs. And um, I really like to experiment with light. Seeing light is something that I've learned that from the core when I was studying in, in Germany, and that's something I brought here. So you, when you see my images now, for instance, this one, um, 
Oh my goodness, it, it took time. That one is not, that's why I also that's don't like it. Yes, butter. thank you, wow. thank you. This is that from is, the white ebony. That, exactly, that's from the white yes. ebony. This one too. That's great. So that's why I also don't like people saying, snap me, snap me. Because we are not <laughs> snapping. We are, we are making a picture. We are creating a picture. And You're telling a story. Uh, and yeah. telling a story. And these pictures, they, they need so many uh, shots and testing. And it's a, it's a whole wow. process. And also putting it together, the organization. I mean, imagine photographing a dancer in Lagos, in Obalendi. Um, what kind of preparation it contains. Yeah. Because you can't just go to Ireland and st start photographing you. The preparation that it takes to, to book the place, to make arrangements, um, to get your crew in there. It, it's a real, it's, it's, it's a, you're it's taking a your own family, shot. yes, <laughs> uh -huh, into that shot. So this one, for instance, is, is a lady who we photographed in our house. This one, again, now is, um, she's not a model, you just want stunning images. So here again, um, yeah. you need to Thank be, you be so fast. Much. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. It was great Thank to you. Speak